Hello, Cancer. Happy April. Welcome to spring. It's about time it's gotten here, right? And at least for all of us here in Wisconsin, that's how we feel. So, Cancer, this is for April 2021. And these horoscopes are based on your sun sign, the one that you were born under. But many of your zodiac and astrology charts have many other aspects that you need to consider, such as your rising sign, your moon sign, um, other things that are in your houses and, and in your charts. And also, if you are born on a cusp, which is a day or two or a few days before or after your birth dates, dates. So uh, remembering that, don't forget that these are also general readings as of course there's many cancers out there and you should treat it as such, but also please be sure to check your rising sign, moon signs and your other signs to make sure that you're getting all the information that you need. I also do the readings based on the 13, 13, 12 and 13 horoscopes. So a Fuchius is the 13th Zodiac. So, with that being said, I'm going to tell you right now for cancer, you're only going to see my face for this portion, then we are going to have you focus on the cards. So for cancer, it usually lands between June 21st and July 23rd, but with a few keys involved, it's July 20th through August 10th. Hmm. So it really shifts the barriers a little bit. So it would be good if maybe that you check out uh, Leo and Gemini as well, because this might play a little factor in it, depending on, I don't know, how things sit with you and your time frame of when you were born and what's in your chart. So being that being said, I'm going to bring you over to our card table here. And this is where we will pull some cards for you. I already pulled the first two. So, we have the goddess of strength. Stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by standing your ground. Do not let people push you, Cancer. I know we are the lovers of the Zodiac, the, the nurturers, the compassionate ones. So you need to make sure that people aren't pushing all your buttons or having their way with you in your kindness. How do they say, don't, don't mistake my kindness for weakness? <laughs> this might be the stance that you're going to need to take this month of April. Then we also have Angel of Pleasure. Take pleasure in the things that you do. So it seems like there's also a lot of good that's coming up. And maybe it's time to break free and, and ex explore that spring fever, especially us here in Wisconsin. It seems that there's going to be a lot involved this month of April. They're giving me the, I'm a psychic medium as well, so they're giving me the words topsy-turvy. So I do feel that uh, you're going to be juggling Ooh, get the words juggling well. So for cancer. Ooh. All right, cancer spirit. What does cancer need to know for this month of April 2021? Oh, boy. Okay, feeling locked into a set of circumstances. Hopefully for some of you, that does not mean you'd actually end up in jail. So uh, be poised and make sure that when you're getting your point across, you're making it felt, but you do it diligently and respectfully and tactfully because I do feel that you're going to be up against some barriers, some resistance. You're not going to like it and you're going to go for it. So I'm um, feeling locked in a set of circumstances. Maybe you got yourself involved in a contract in which you cannot back out of or a lease or an agreement with someone, even a relationship. So if there's anything that you can do to shift the tables of change and get out of a situation, then you do what you must do to do that. All right, Spirit, what else does Cancer need to know this month of April? All right. So we got the Fool. And the Fool is where maybe take going back to school, taking another class, going on a journey, traveling, doing this sort of thing. 
some people may look at you as being foolish, but it's just something that you really need to do. Um, and learning, you may be really learning a lot. Oh, I got all three of them major. So it all depends on who's watching this, I guess. So I do have um, people really highly considering going back to college and, and doing the schooling thing, taking up a class or a course. Uh, people get, go in to get their real estate license, things like this. Uh, the, mm, the journey. Yep, taking a trip. It could even be short trips, but the trips could be very valuable to you. So refusing to go may not be the best thing for you. I think you should definitely go if you are um, shown that opportunity. All right, Spirit, what else does Cancer need to know for the month of April 2021? Oh, it's too many. All right, Cancer, Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? Here we go. Fire. Fire. All right, we have passion. So something that you're really feeling passionate towards, maybe it's the actual passion of your own that's setting you on fire. Uh, it could be a romantic relationship. It could be, I just, I really feel that it's really something that you're feeling very passionate about. Uh, like, like me, I'm really into um, pet rescues and things like this. I mean, I can definitely see me getting involved in a situation if I see a horrible situation taking place. So it could be something that you're very passionate about. It could even be a part of that going back to school, the reason why you're traveling. Um, it could be that finally you are, you may, might not even be an actual relationship. You might just be on the dating scene and you're like, you know what, if I don't work out this energy, my Kundalini, I'm going to go crazy. But I do feel creativity. Um, creativity is a major a major play with this card. So this is like the orange chakra down by your base chakra. This is the seat of creativity. It also can affect your circulation in your system um, wellness wise. So if you're experiencing any circulation problems and you can do some meditation, visualize that orange just burning away all the blocks all the way up to the crown, the top of your head. This might help to burn away some blocks that you've been experiencing. So you are not going to go sexually crazy, but yet bring that creativity to the top where it belongs. So if you're feeling moved to start creating, you've been putting off projects and putting off projects, now is the time to do it. You really need to set your soul on fire and get it done. All right. So when we have the Milky Way, it's all about the perspective. How you look at it. Are you looking at the glass half full or half empty? So you can make the best of any situation that you're falling into right now. I do feel that you have a little bit of the Midas touch going on. So if you really search your soul, you could find the betterment of the situation. And if you're dealing with someone who's re just really unruly and, and just a pest, you can still put them in the place. It doesn't mean that you can't send some good prayers off to them. It doesn't mean you continue to be putting up with it but maybe you can help them see a better perspective. So, and this way, when you see certain people coming into your life, it may be showing you the things that you need to be looking at in yourself as well. So how are you going to look at the situation? Like me, I'm going to be doing some fairs. Maybe it's like, all right, so maybe if you didn't do well, what, what, good did come of this. Maybe I did some great networking, you know, things of this sort. So it's, it's shifting the way you're perceiving things. If you shift your perception a little bit, it might be the key you've been looking for and it's going to greatly help you. All right. Now we have our little round cards here for Cancer Spirit. What does Cancer need to know this month of April 2021? April 2021. April. Cancer. Come on. Come on out. Where are you? Hmm. Interesting. This is going to remind me of the perspective card because the box. Thinking outside of the box. It's all your perspective. Does it look like it's a point? Does it look like it goes inward? Does it look like things have come to a head? Or is it really something you have to dive into a little more to really come to the conclusions and realizations of things? Ooh, here's a nice card. 
Then we had the lover. So it could be that all things start to bloom this month, um, including, you know, love life could also mean the changing of relationships. It could mean the love of your child, the love of a pet, the love of something that you're trying to give birth to, like a project or a business. But in this case, I do feel that it's very possible that you have the mojo. <laughs> you have the mojo to attract what you need into your life, to attract your desires, to attract your mate. Uh, for some of you, I feel that this could be already in the works. But there's some of you, I feel like this will just be the start. Like you might meet the person, but yet you don't really realize it's them. So just be careful of the people that you meet that are coming into your life too right now because I think there's some magical stuff going on. This is a magical month. We are in creation mode since, um, and I keep being brought back to March 27th, uh, that I think things have started then. Uh, some key words, key things have been used at that time. If maybe you could think back to that time. Um, right now, I am making this video in March, so it's possible that it's telling me something yet to come. All right, and I pull the card that represents stones. So the stone that you got for the month of April, and it's fitting because it's yellow. The April, the month of April always reminds me of yellow. We got a, yellow, a lot of yellow and orange in here that is citrine. So citrine is a wonderful, wonderful stone. It's a healing stone. It's a merchant stone. In other words, it'll help bring prosperity to you, healing, clarity. Um, it can clean your other stones as well. It's unnecessary worries. Release the burdens of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Well, that's kind of perfect because those cancers are really good at holding on to the stuff. So, uh, or worrying to death. So, we need to learn to let worry go. Everything's going to work out in its own proper way, in its own proper timing. All right. So, picking a trinket here for Cancer. All right. Spirit, what does Cancer need to know here this month of April? Ooh. Uh, we got reflections. So, seeing other people's points of view. Um, also seeing how you affect other people, how they are affecting you. If you're finding a lot of major annoyances and there's like a theme to it, then there's something like that that you come off to other people. So there's something you need to change or tweak in yourself to bring the highest value of yourself to the surface. And also if you're seeing what wonderful things like me at attending fairs, this might go in that direction. I'll see how beautiful things are that people can make. And I'm like, man, I wish I could make something like that. Well, I probably could, you know, you probably could. So if you adore something in someone else, you have those same qualities as well, especially if you keep seeing and saying, wow, that's the third time I've seen that. I really wish I could make posters like that or paintings or jewelry or whatever the case may be. I wish I know how to cook like that. I mean, any source of creativity or anything is something that you have in yourself. Or, wow, I wish I had that much patience. Maybe you really do. You just didn't dig in far enough. So seeing the reflective quality in others is really, really important. All right. I leave that with you. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I forgot to put this down here. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell as I'm going to be doing many other types of readings during the week, different times of day. I'm just going to pop on. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and find me on Facebook because if I do a pop on, like a little surprise reading, I can give a heads up there right on Facebook. And if you are interested in a personal reading, you can contact me at one of the pieces of information you're seeing go by below there, the Violet Sage at AOL.com. Put reading in the subject line, even if it's a purchase that you would like to make. So you can visit me at www.theviolatsage.com and see all the different things I have for sale. A lot of stuff I have for sale. I don't even have posted on there. 
Um, I'm not the one that does my own website, so I can't change things as they come in. But it will show you the many classes I offer, and I do do some of them online as well. So um, if you are interested, we really appreciate donations here because that's how we survive. If you appreciate and like the information that you were given here today, you may not always like the information you're given, but if it feels accurate and true and things that are going on, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, make donations if you can, because it does cost me money to bring this to you. And I do a um, online live on Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Time, where I do a weekly message for everyone. And you get a chance to get yourself a free card pull and a free message. And I do ask for donations on there as well. And I also run a lot of uh, specials and contests and things that you can get involved in. So if you join us on Sundays, um, people that do donate will go first. And you can I do 10 for 10 on Sundays too. So $10 for 10 minutes. And you get a lot of information in that time frame. So please join me and you'll stand a chance of uh, getting yourself some personalized messages as well. So thank you very much for joining me here today. Thank you, Cancers. And you have a most blissful and pleasant April. And I hope everything you're wishing for in the positive ways come to you as if in on butterfly wings. Have a wonderful, wonderful April. And hope to see you soon. Please hit the subscribe bell. We need you to subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many blessings. Bye-bye.